What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So, today we're going to get some more work done on the chopper. We're going to get that rear fender mounted up and put in place and all that good, ready to go. So, I feel a lot better this week. Last week I was sick and I know it came through on camera. Like, I when I was editing, it was very apparent that I was sick. But I'm good. The wife's good. The whole family's good. So, we are all healthy again. We leave on Tuesday morning for vacation. We will be gone for a week, but I'm going to shoot some video while on vacation. We're going to be in one of our favorite places uh, in the world, in the Smoky Mountains. So, also, we have already uh, reserved our hotel room for the Mama Tried Motorcycle Show. So, we will be up there in Milwaukee for Mama Tried. And I'm going to have a bunch of stickers as I'm walking around. So, if you happen to see me there and you're a subscriber... Even if you're not a subscriber, you've just been watching, come up, give me a holler, I'll give you a sticker. Love to meet you. So I'm hoping to get to uh, run into some fellow YouTubers there, and uh, it's going to be a really fun weekend. So I'm going to throw the camera on the tripod and show you guys what I've got going on here. So you can kind of see right now, I've got some hoses taped to the wheel so I can get my spacing. So, But before I throw you on the tripod, how about you do me a huge favor, go ahead and Give this video a big thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. So that helps the channel grow immensely. Share it, all that. You guys know what to do. You hear it in every YouTube video you watch from every person ever. So that is the best way to help us content creators is to give us that like and that comment. So all those interactions help. So let's go ahead and put this on the tripod and dive into this. Okay, so apparently I left my adapter for my tripod at home, and so I'm going to try to hold the camera and show you guys this. So, right here you'll see that I've gone ahead and I've taped some 5 8 uh, heater core hoses to the tire, and that's going to allow me my spacing. I've got the tire positioned where I want. It's a little further forward, so that way I will be able to adjust the tire out as the chain wears. So... I also went ahead already and let me throw this on here. So I already went ahead and I measured out uh, the distance on both sides right here so I could go ahead and mount these. So this right here will weld to the sissy bar. I went ahead and uh, I put together my sissy bar kit the other day. So I had to weld these tabs on. Uh, it was really nothing all that hard, just two tabs I had to weld on. And then we just threaded the frame so that the sissy bar could bolt onto the frame. So I've got those two right there lengthwise where I'm happy. I've got to get the side to side set and get those tacked in place. And then once those are tacked, I can come over here and get my other bracket mounted, which will go right under here to the fender and once everything's tacked and I'm happy we will figure out where we're gonna cut the fender and get all that situated so I'm gonna see if I can find something to set this camera on and try to get this done because it's gonna be really hard to do one-handed so let me see what I can get figured out cool so we got our marks on our fender and on our bracket now we're going to take the fender back off and we're going to try to center it up and get the holes punched out for this bracket. Center point is roughly right there. I'll take my bracket, measure this bracket and find the center point on it. Okay, now that we've got the center on both of those, we should be able to just line those up like that. Okay, so that is centered.
Alrighty, so we've got our center, we've got the bracket on. I measured the center of this crossbar and the center of the bracket. So now I just need to tack weld that, and then I can uh, even up the back and tack weld that. And then I can take the wheel off and the fender off and finish weld everything. So, alrighty, let's go ahead and dive into that. Okay, so we've got the fender mocked up. Well, a little more than mocked up. It's tacked in place. Wheel spins freely. So now I have to decide where I'm going to chop this fender. Honestly, I think I'm going to chop it right here. I like the look of the big fenders that come all the way down and around. But uh, this one just doesn't really fit that great like that. So I think, honestly, I'm just going to chop it right there and then leave the bottom open. And I think that's going to look good. So now I'm going to pull the wheel off and uh, take the sissy bar off and get it all finish welded up. Alrighty, so I got the fender all mounted up and uh, I took it back off. I'm getting ready to cut the fender, but uh, I just hit everything with the wire wheel. So, as you see, like, I don't know how good that shows up on there. There we go. It's so, like, I'm not a horrible welder, I'm just not a great welder by any means. So, got that all mounted. Mounting tabs are all done, welded, all that is good to go. So now I'm over here, I've got the fender, I've measured out, I've measured out, made sure I'm even in multiple places. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut right along this tape line and that will give me my final uh, size of the fender. And then I can throw that back on the bike and put the wheel back on. And after that I'm going to throw the seat and the tank and all that back on. And we will have a general idea of what this bike is going to look like. Uh, after we get back from vacation, I am going to uh, strip it all back down, clean it all up, get the bike painted, and hopefully by, hopefully by either the end of February, beginning of March, this bike will be running and riding. And I'll be able to at least take it around the block depending on the weather. So... Alrighty, so let me throw you guys back on the tripod and get this fender cut.
So guys, this bike is looking hot. I, I'm so excited, so excited. Let me flip this around, give you guys another view of her. She is looking good. She's gonna look so much better when she gets painted. So some of you may already know what color she's getting painted. It's, uh, I put it in a Instagram story a few weeks ago. So if you didn't see that story, then you missed out on what color this bike's getting painted. But it's gonna look awesome. So my shop is a mess. I gotta get this cleaned up before I move any further with this project. I am so excited to be taking a week off next week. So we're going to be in Pigeon Forge, me and my beautiful wife. I will be shooting video. I will share that with you guys, as well as I may do a couple YouTube shorts while we're there. I don't know. But I'm hoping to hop in and check out the new JP Cycle store while we're there, as well as check out the Harley dealer and some other stuff. I've been to Pigeon Forge several times. I love the area. It's one of my favorite places in the country. So it's going to be a nice, relaxing week. Going to be sitting in a hot tub, smoking cigars, drinking a little whiskey, reading some books. So, it's going to be a great week. So, I keep saying so. Lots of so's. That's going to pretty much end this video, guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Again, we will be at Mama Tried on the first weekend of March. If you see me, come up, give me a holler. I'll give you a sticker. Who knows? Maybe I uh, might get a chance to go out and have a few beers with some people. So, that is going to be a great trip. And I look forward to sharing all that with you guys. But we're going to wrap this video up. Please, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give me a thumbs down. Check out our company website, hotheadstalls.com. Everything for horses. We have dog leashes, dog collars. We have apparel. Also, in that description box, links to all of our social media. Follow us. I am way more active on Instagram than I am Facebook. Facebook, uh, I don't have much of a following on there, and I just really don't do a whole lot with it. But Instagram, that's where you're going to find a lot of stuff. So... That's that. I will see you all next week. I love each and every one of you. Please, big thumbs up, comment, share, and I am out of here.